Dear audience, welcome back. I hope that you all are fine. Today I have come here along with a new video tutorial on integration. Today I am going to discuss on the some more problems on the integration by pairs. It's the problem number 21. Here we have to determine the integral of ln of sec inverse x all divided by x square root of x square minus 1. Dear audience, with careful observation, you will find that the derivative of sec inverse x is here 1 divided by square root of x into square root of x square minus 1. That means if we consider second inverse x equal z, then the differential of second inverse x is 1 divided by x square root of x square minus 1 dx equals dz. Now substituting second inverse x by z and dx by x square root of x square minus 1 by dz, we get integration ln of z dz. And here the invisible uh, function is the 1. So we consider 1 as a second function and ln z as a uh, first function because we don't know what is the integration or integral of the ln of z. That is why we consider ln z as a first function and 1 is a second function. So applying the integration by pairs, we get ln z integral of dz minus integral of d d d x ln, ln z integration of dz dz. Here the integral of dz is the z and the derivative of ln z is 1 by z and the integral of dz is z. So z, z will be cancelled. So remaining is the integration of dz that means in next line we can write z that means ultimately um, we get integration of ln of sec inverse x whole divided by x square root of x square minus 1 dx equals sec inverse x ln of sec inverse x sec inverse x plus c where c is the integral constant and um, uh, uh, substituting z by the second inverse x we get this dear audience um, the next problem we find the um, integration e to the power x divided by x all times of 1 plus x ln of x dx that means we have to determine the integral of these expressions Dear audience, we, since we know that integration sign is the linearly independent, so we can write it e to the power x by x dx plus integration e to the power x ln of x dx. Here uh, we know we know the integration of e to the power x. Again, we know the differentiation of e to the power x, but we don't know what is the integration of um, what is the integration of uh, uh, sorry what is the integration of 1 by x it is also known to us so we may consider any of them as a first function here we consider e to the power x as a first function and 1 by x as a second function so using the integration by first in this first term we get e to the power x that means first function into integration of second function 1 by x minus integration derivative of the first function into integration of the second function and the remaining part that means integration e to the power x ln of x dx I keep it uh, I put it um, without any kind of changing then from here we get e to the power x but the integration of 1 by x dx is ln of x so we put that and here the derivative of e to the power x is e to the power x and integral of the 1 by x dx is the uh, ln of x. So you get um, integration e to the power x ln of x dx plus integration e to the power x ln of x dx. Here 
um, plus minus minus that means um, in, in integration to the power x ln of x dx and plus it be the power ln of x dx will be cancelled so the remaining part is the to the power x ln x plus c where c is the integral constant that means the integration of e to the power x all divided by x into 1 plus x ln x dx equals e to the power x ln x plus c. Dear audience, the problem number 23, you also can do this problem as uh, similar to the previous problem. Pausing the video, I hope that you will solve this problem. 24, it is also similar, as similar, it is similar to the previous problem. And 25, um, it is also similar to the previous problem, that means here, first of all we multiply both terms of this expression by to the power x, and then we um, uh, using the integration sign to the both terms we get uh, integration e to the power x 1 divided by 1 minus x dx uh, plus e to the power, integration e to the power x 1 divided by 1 minus x whole square dx so uh, I use the integration by pairs in the first terms here so we get uh, the 1 by x 1 by x we consider as the first function and e to the power x is the second fun function and applying the integration by pairs we get 1 by x that means first function into integration of the second function e to the power x minus integration derivative of the first function 1 by 1 minus x into integration of second function e to the power x dx and the remaining part I put here without changing and after calculation we get e to the power x by 1 minus x and here the derivative of 1 minus sorry 1 divided by 1 minus x is the minus uh, minus minus uh, 1 divided by 1 minus x whole square but 1 minus derivative of the 1 minus x is the minus 1 but this minus and this minus will make it plus 1 so and the remaining part is the integration of e to the power x dx so the result of it is the e to the power x so ultimately it becomes if you observe it very carefully then you will find that it is uh, the integration e to the power x dx divided by 1 minus x square 1 minus x whole square and here the integration of e to the power x dx divided by 1 minus x whole square this term and this term will be cancelled and the remaining part is the e to the power x whole divided by 1 minus x plus c where c is the integral, integral constant Dear audience, mm, it is a very important problem. In this problem, we will find uh, two, two function, but before that, arranging the x as a x plus 1 minus 1 e to the power x, then it becomes mm, integration x plus 1 uh, whole divided by x plus 1 whole square e to the power x minus e to the power x dx divided by x plus 1 whole square. The remaining part is here. Here we take 1 divided by x plus 1 as a first function and e to the power x as a second function. And applying the integration by pairs here, we get e to the power x divided by x plus 1 plus integration e to the power x whole divided by x plus 1 whole square dx and uh, in place of uh, integration e to the power x dx divided by x plus 1 whole square we put that here but this term and this term will be cancelled because uh, one of them is the uh, before one of them is a plus and another of them is minus so plus minus mm, minus that means if we subtract the one of the term we, if we subtract the same term from the same number we will find the zero that means these two terms will be cancelled so the remaining part is e to the power x multiplied by x plus one 
but uh, plus c uh, is the integral constant here dear audience pausing the video i hope that you can solve the problem number 27 28 is also similar to the previous problem 29 it is also similar to the previous problem i hope that you can solve this problem 30 number 30 number uh, first of all you have to uh, um, consider two functions here the we consider here first function is ln x and x plus 1 whole square is the second function and after applying the integration by parts we get this result but here you'll find that uh, the x plus 1 whole square whole divided by x into 3 that means 3x we put 1 by 3 outside of the integration sign and applying the uh, formula that means a plus b whole cube is the a cube plus twice a square b plus twice a b plus 1 that means here in place of a there is x and in place of b there is 1 so applying it we get x cube plus 3x square plus 3x plus 1 now dividing the denominator sorry numerator by the x we get x square here it will be the x it will be the x x cancels that means 3 here will be the 1 by x dx now since we know that integration sign is the linearly independent and if we put this integration sign at the same to the each terms of these uh, um, expressions then we get the integration of x square means x cubed by 3 the integration of x means x squared by 2 and the integration of dx means x and integration of 1 by x is ln x so I put here the, those standard integral plus c is the integral constant now if you write the answer here it will do but if you arrange something here um, it will better dear audience uh, try to solve the problem number 31 pausing the video is not so harder I hope that uh, if you try to solve it yourself you can solve it here's the problem problem number 32 integrate sine inverse square root of x whole divided by 1 plus x dx your audience if we consider x is equal to a 10 square theta then it will be the theta is equal to 10 inverse root over x by a and dx is equal to 2 a 10 theta sec square theta d theta now substituting um, uh, substituting x by a 10 square theta and dx by 2 a 10 theta sec square theta d theta now putting those in the first integral we get i equals uh, integration sine inverse square root of a 10 square theta whole divided by a plus a square 10 square theta now taking um, sorry now not a square here a 10 square theta now taking a as a common we get 1 plus 10 square theta that means it will be this sec square theta and the in place of dx we put 2 a 10 theta sec square theta d theta now after calculation we get a a cancel and 1 plus 10 square theta can be written as sec square theta and the remaining part is used here without changing uh, any of them then the integration sine inverse here after the calculation we get that means 10 square theta can be written as sine square theta by cos square theta again sec square theta can be written as 1 by cos square theta here cos square theta cos square theta will be cancelled the remaining sine square theta and if we um, do calculation that means the square root of sine square theta is sine theta we can put that then the remaining part is 2 a 10 theta sec square theta d theta I put here I put it here then after calculation we get here sine and sine will be cancelled then the remaining part is the theta so 2 a theta 10 theta sec square theta and we consider uh, theta 10 theta as a first function and sec square theta as a second function then uh, we put here the first function into integration of the second function sec square theta 
eta theta and similarly the derivative of the first function theta ten theta and the integration of the second function sec square theta then after calculation we get 2a a 2a theta into 10 square theta that means here there was a 10 theta and the integration of sec square theta is also the 10 theta this 10 theta and this 10 theta makes it 10 square theta now minus integration derivative of 10 theta 10 theta that means we consider theta as u and theta 10 theta as a v then using the uh, uv formula of the transition we get we put the theta here the derivative of 10 theta is the sec square theta and we put 10 theta here and the derivative of theta is the 1 so we get the derivative of theta 10 theta equals theta sec square theta plus 10 theta and the integration of sec square theta is the 10 theta we put it here and here uh, we we put the integration sign to the both both term of these expressions that means here we find integration 2a uh, integration 2a now 2a here because we have to multiply all the terms by the 2a because it is enclosed within the third bracket here so we get 2a theta 10 square theta minus integration 2a theta 10 theta sec square theta d theta and here 2a integration 10 square theta d theta and here we will find that we consider here at the very beginning uh, at the very beginning we consider here uh, not integration 2a theta 10 theta sec square theta d theta equals i so putting it here we get i and remaining part here 10 square theta can be written as sec square theta minus 1 d theta the after intermission we get i plus i equals 2a theta 10 square theta uh, minus 2a but the integration of sec square, uh, square theta is the 10 theta and integration of 1 is the theta uh, d theta is the theta uh, so 2a equals 2a theta 10 square theta minus 2a 10 theta minus theta then after uh, substituting uh, the theta 10 theta then we get uh, uh, i equals that means 2 to here is cancelled so i equals a 10 inverse uh, square root of x by a 10 theta 10 inverse square root of x by a whole square here minus 2 to cancel so here a here 10 in place of 10 i put here 10 and theta means 10 inverse square root of x by a minus theta means 10 inverse square root of x by a plus c here plus c is the integral constant now after doing calculation we get x plus a 10 inverse square root of x by a minus square root of a x plus c dear audience i hope that you could understand the today's lesson and again I will come along with a new video tutorial till then goodbye